Hi, my name is Robert. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Criticism. I'll be doing a quick demo today of our crash reporting tool. So what you see here is our crash summary page. Uh, this shows you a, a summary view of all your crashes over time. This is actually data from an app that's live in the App Store. It's had over 3 million crashes in the last couple weeks. So we show you a basic graph of all your crashes over time. We can let you filter this by uh, date range as well as which uh, version of the app was running. And we've taken all these crashes and grouped them into unique issues here into this table below. Each line represents a different crash. You can sort this uh, table by not only the number of times it occurred, but what, probably what's most important, the number of users that were affected. And you can literally just go down this list and fix the top crashes, and it'll take care of a large percentage of your issues. So let's drill down into a particular crash. You can see the same graph of um, crashes over time here. We also provide the stack trace. This is also symbolicated, so this means the developer uploaded the DSIM file, and we were able to, on the fly, deobfuscate their stack trace so you can see exactly which file was causing the issue as well as which line number. We also provide any background threads that are running at the time as well as register data. So on top of the stack trace, we provide some basic diagnostics. So you can see things like if the crash occurred more in location, so this was probably some sort of localization issue, or if you had a location-based app, maybe that was a problem with data somehow. Uh, we also provide some memory usage uh, histogram, so if this histogram was skewed to the right, you know it's some sort of memory issue. And we provide a slew of other data, everything from the model to which version of the app to which OS was running, so this was probably an iOS 4 and below issue. Uh, we also provide anything from which way the developer was holding a phone to whether the app was pirated or not. And we also let you add some basic workflow management tools here. So adding notes to a crash, saying who's going to fix it, as well as marking a crash as resolved. <coughs> and then what you can do is actually drill into each particular user that experienced a crash and you can sell them. And you can send a message to all those users that have experienced a crash saying, Hey, we're sorry about the error. Please upgrade your app. And this will appear as a pop up the next time the, develop, the user loads the app. And you can even drill down to a particular user level and see how many times that they have loaded the app, which crashes that they've experienced. And you can attach some custom metadata here. So this is a dictionary of key value pairs. You can set a username that's unique to your system. Uh, so if it's a game, it could be a, a gamer ID. Um, you can also set things, anything from you know which level of the game they're playing to how many items in the shopping cart at the time the, the app crashed. And on top of this crash reporting, we also provide some basic event tracking so with a feature we call breadcrumbs. So this will let you see the last 50 actions that the user did right before the crash. So which buttons they pushed, which screens they're on. And this helps you diagnose bugs that you can't just figure out from the stack trace. And then we provide some basic um, analytics tools, which we call crash trends. So on top of DAU and MAU, we, have, we can also let you see um, how well your app is doing. So you can see in this app, they've actually reduced the number of crashes from over 15% to less than 5% in only four iterations of the app. <clears throat> and all of this is done in real time. So. This is a live stats page, which shows you uh, all your crashes over time. This uh, is updated every five seconds, so you can see sort of a, a heartbeat monitor of how well your app is doing. Um, so yeah, this has been an overview of our what we're currently offering for our crash reporting tool. There's going to be more goodies to come. My, as always, my name is Robert Kwok, and I'm the co-founder and CTO of Criticism. If you would like to find out more, just go to criticism.com. Usually I'll be manning the chat and uh, look forward to meeting you. All right, take care. Bye.